Hello everyone, I am Squall Casting, and I've got some more StarCraft 2 for you. I was going to be doing my Let's Play of Diablo 3 right now, but uh, there were login issues. Oh, okay, looks like that was a pause there. Cool. Anyway, so we do have White Rod down here as the Blue Protoss, and if you looked really quick at the chat, you would see that this is indeed MKP, or Marine King Prime. An absolute beastly Terran, arguably the best in the world right now. So, White Rod will have his work cut out for him. He's undoubtedly, undeniably, a very good player. But, uh, MKP is pretty much a monster at the moment. So, we'll see. White Rod does like creative play and using, uh, good Warp Prism Harass. We'll see if he chooses to do that game, uh, it, bleh, If he chooses to do that in this game and how it works out for him. So, White Rod just throwing out the good luck, good luck. MKP with a big smiley face. Which, wishing White Raw the same. So, yeah. So, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say MKP is going to go for the One Rax Gasless FE. Uh, it's a very safe build right now. Let's you get your command center up quite quickly, get those mules going. You just throw down a bunker at the front, and you're pretty much safe against almost anything the Protoss is going to do. White Raw, um... If MKP does go for that one Rax Gasless FE, which he isn't, I'm wrong. Oh well. Uh, I would guess then that uh, White Raw may go for a one gate expand. We will see. So White Raw not, or uh, er, MKP not opting for the one Rax Gasless FE. But um, I would still guess he'd do a fast expand. Just because uh, early expansions are so very standard in the metagame right now, as my mouth freaks out and scrolls us away from what's going on. White Rod being just a little bit annoying, zapping away that SCV, going to force it away. But it does manage to finish up that barracks. It's going to start working on a supply depot. White Rod might still try to take it out. That'd be a nice little win for him. And he might get it. 5 HP. MKP will probably repair that. Oh, go White Rod running that SCV away. But there is a Marine now, and that will deflect the probe quite well. White Rod going to try to micro that probe to keep it alive as long as possible to get as much information as possible. Uh, okay, MKP going for a second rack, so not the one. Oh, gets the pro or gets SEV, very nice. But um, yeah, it does not look like a one rack expand. How very unfortunate for me as I'm wrong it again. But that's totally okay. I'm confident in who I am. If I'm wrong, I just say you know what, I will learn better. I will be smarter next time, and maybe next time my prediction will be accurate. Now MKP did get his reactor first on that barracks, an interesting decision. Guess he just wants to get that marine production going as much as possible. And could we could see some early aggression out of him, just with lots of marines and push on up the front. We'll see how White Raw responds to that. And uh, we'll also have to see if uh, MKP does decide to drop down another barracks and go for crazy pressure, or if this is just to stay a little bit safer, get lots of marines out early so he can be nice and secure against whatever White Raw may do. Now, White Raw is throwing down two more gateways, so he will be at three gates. So, definitely going to see a little bit of aggression out of him before he chooses to expand. MKP just positioning his marines at the front and getting concussive shells. Okay, this could be kind of cool. And this could actually work very, very well against White Raw. Uh, marauders are, of course, very, very good against stalkers, and with concussive shells, they can prevent Protoss units from retreating effectively, and they can also uh, slow down zealots, so that way MKP can micro around them very easily and kill lots and lots of stuff without really losing anything of his own. And yeah, so it looks like he's just going to uh, push out with that one uh, Marauder that he has now. White Rod does have this tower, so he will see this coming. We'll see how he responds. Just now throwing down his Nexus, that could be a pretty big mistake. As that's a lot of money invested into what could be units, and well, let's see here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marines and a marauder. So they do not have stim, so that will be not as potent as it could be. But right, well, it just doesn't have very much. He's got two sentries, so he will be able to wall that ramp and potentially pin one or two. Okay, two more sentries, so he'll be able to throw down quite a few force fields. And there we go, getting some force fields down, pinning those units in. Zelda going to go forward, absorb damage. And kill them off. So very, very nicely defended by White Raw. And MKP is going to have to fall back home. White Raw only losing a single Zealot in that exchange. 
So very nicely played by him, getting those sentries out just in the nick of time to repel what MKP was doing. Now MKP does have a couple more marines out. Wow, needs to pull these stalkers back. Oh man, not reacting quite in time. Going to lose one. Does manage to save the, you know, uh, the other, but has to throw down two force fields to keep it alive. So both players just trading some blows early on in this game. White Raw looks like he's sending a probe out. I think that's just outside of MKP's vision from the tower. And uh, might try to plant down a forward pylon. And where is he going to put it? Uh, he'll be just out of the range. The board of the range, uh, sight range is like right there. Ooh, will MKP see it? Nope. Probe slips on past. Probably going to throw that on pylon around here. So we can warp into the low ground. Maybe do a backstab. Checking for the third. Oh, and he's also... T okay, maybe this is more just to check if White Wild's ex uh, if MKP is expanding or not. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So he will see that MKP is indeed not expanded. Has his uh, starport up now. Starting to get medevacs. So this is very, very aggressive by MKP. But if White Wild can stay alive and hold on, he will be significantly ahead in economy. He does have a robotics bay going down now. Where is that, anyways? Okay, it's down there, so... A bit vulnerable, but less vulnerable to drops, I suppose. That could be the rationale behind that uh, building's positioning. MKP does have quite a lot of stuff. Stim finishing up just now, and as soon as that finishes, he's probably going to push on out. I uh, think he's got Minivax out? Yep, so he's got two Minivax out. They will join up with his army right as he hits the front door. So this will be very difficult for White Wall to defend. And I feel like he should try pushing forward a little bit, so that way he can at least force field the ramp and delay White Raw some. Or MKP some. Man, I'm getting them mixed up all the time. He does seem to have a bead this is coming, trying to position a little bit, but I don't know. We will see how this works out. Scouting Factory going to come on forward, help provide vision and soak up some stalker fire. And this is a pretty scary push from MKP. White Rod does have a decent amount of stuff to defend it. He has four, four, uh, five sentries now with lots of energy. He does have an immortal as well, so that will be able to kill the uh, Marauders very quickly. A single force field going down, another one. Guardian Shield going up, Zealots pushing into the front. Killing Marine Soul Camp, lots and lots of damage, and MKP needs to fall back. Nicely defended by White Raw. Probably going to want to add on a few more Zealots to start soaking fire, though. And MKP going to not push up the front yet? Okay. Looks like he wants to wait for a few reinforcements. Two more medivac medivacs come on in. That's going to heal his army up very nicely. And it looks like he's going for a drop. He's going for it. White Raw knows, but will he respond in time? He does know, and here we go. Guardian Shield going down, but MKP going to go down to the front instead. So White Rod deflecting that drop, and he does have a Colossus out now. So White Rod just going to warp in more reinforcements. Colossus needs to fall back or it's going to die. He needs to be really careful with that. It doesn't have range. Picking up all the units, going to ferry them behind the force fields, but White Rod is doing a very nice job of defending this while keeping his economic lead. I'll see that both players still posturing. MKP pulling back. Looks like he doesn't want to engage into that. And he gets the Colossus. Definitely bad for White Rod, but White Rod is still able to push it back and to get a couple medevacs. Very nice for him. He's continuing to pick off medevacs. I feel like he's focusing on that a little bit too much. He's losing a lot of stalkers in the process. But that said, medevacs are pretty expensive, so that could be worth it for White Rod. As now MKP has a much reduced ability to drop and deal damage in that manner. Now, MKP is expanding behind this, so he's not all in with this. But White Rod does have a bit of an economic lead. Getting caught out in the middle, though, going to lose some units. Definitely a uh, bad position for him. Losing all those sentries, so very expensive. White Rod was just a little bit too far out, losing that Immortal. But he does have another Colossus now. Uh, is he getting range yet? No, he isn't. I feel that might be a mistake. Or he just does feels he doesn't have the money. But he does have the money now. He could start it right now. But he hasn't yet. So it could be he just forgot, which would be a pretty terrible mistake. You really want that range. He is getting Gravitic Drive, which I think is the uh, Warp Prism movement speed. Yeah, okay, so we will see some Warp Prism special tactics. So it'll be pretty fun choosing to get that in, uh, before the Colossus range. An interesting decision, but we'll see how it works out. Warp Prism Harass can be pretty effective against Terrans. And if nothing else, it'll force MKP to kind of stay back in his base, stay defensive, because he never knows when a drop's going to come in and deal damage. Now, White Raw is for throwing down a semi-forward pylon that's still quite a ways off, but um, you can use that for warp ins. I'm going to throw another one up there. So it looks like he wants to be a little bit aggressive here. He does have two Colossi, but once again, they do not have range. And a decent ball of units beneath. 
God. Some sentries, some zealots. He looks like he wants to fall back, though. As there's a bit too much stuff from MKP. MKP does have four Vikings out now, so he can deal some decent damage to those Colossi. He's got Medivacs once again. Still scouting on, around with that factory. Sees that White Raw has not taken a third base. That pylon does finish up. We'll see if White Raw wants to warp in some zealots to run into mineral lines later. But MKP just going to continue with his trademark aggression, pushing on forward. White Raw seems pretty ready for this, though. Uh, those Colossi are definitely going to die, but we'll see how much damage they can do before they do. He's pulling them back. MKP stimming forward with his units. Throwing down the Guardian Shield a little bit uh, too early. But, uh... Factory's going to burn on down. Vikings trying to deal with the Colossi. Getting some damage on one of them, but not killing any yet. Force Field still going down, keeping MKP from fully engaging with his infantry. Loads up a medevac. I feel that must have been a mistake. That has to have been a misclick. Just now, okay, now he's starting to unload it. White Rock continuing to warp in. He does have a supply lead, so that's pretty nice for him. And this factory is slowly going to burn to death. It's not going to... Its scouting days are over. And there we go. Stalker shooting it on down. So White Rock does feel like he's in a pretty good position right now. He is ahead on supply by uh, 18 or so. 16 or so. 14 or so. There we go. I'm really bad at mathing. And yeah, So MKP on the back foot just a tiny bit. Just now starting to get his upgrades, though. Plus one for the infantry, just about to finish on up. And it looks like he's just going to stay on this bio-viking build. And White Raw looks like he's doing pretty much the same. Staying on the Colossi with Stalkers and Zealots. And getting Zealot Charge now. So that would allow those Zealots to be quite a bit more effective. I would love to see him throw down a Forge. And also a Dark Shrine. Hmm, that could be fun. Maybe that's what he wants to do with the Warp Prisms. Where are the Warp Prisms? There has to be one on the map. Oh, uh, not yet. So, he got that upgrade, but he has not gotten Warp Prisms yet. So, could be he meant to use them sooner, but just hasn't been able to because MKP is always in his face. And here we go. More Force Fields going down, pinning back all that bile. White Rod, though, not positioning the Grace and losing quite a bit of stuff to those. He's lost all of his Colossi, and the Zealots don't have charge yet. It's about to finish up. Oh, this is rough for White Raw. He's losing so much stuff, but MKP's army is starting to get thinned out, and those Vikings aren't really able to contribute much anymore because all the Colossi are gone. Those Zealots do have charge now, so they're zipping forward, able to deal damage a bit more effectively. But White Raw has once again pushed out too far. He's going to lose all these units here, and he's in a very difficult spot now. He's going to need to re-warp in units as quickly as possible. Only has six Vikings, and MKP will be able to kite that all day long. And MKP going to come up the front once again. Going to start picking up pylons. White Raw wisely pulling those uh, zealots back for the time being. Dark Shrine just finishing up. This could turn the tide if he can get some Dark Templar in. And looks like he's going to flank in from behind. Charging on in. Probes pulled as well. Vikings absolutely evaporating because they kind of suck on the ground. MKP is doing a great job of kiting this though. Tucking himself into a corner. He's got a single Dark Templar in the mix that's going to deal a lot of damage. We'll see if MKP picks up on that scan. He does scan now, so Dark Templar gets picked off before killing too terribly much. Warps in another one, going to have to force another scan. So at the very least, he's keeping MKP from mewling. But MKP is just dealing a lot of damage, and White Raw is having a very difficult time rebuilding an army to deal with this. Having to run all his probes from his main. But MKP's army is finally starting to get cleaned up. This Dark Templar here doing quite a bit of work. So that could have been White Raw's saving grace there. But that's, and they have mostly equalized in supply. But that said, White Rod's way ahead in probes. And he only has three Dark Templar and an Immortal against eight Marauders and eight Marines. So definitely a rough spot for White Raw. Um, I thought I saw a Warp Prism come out, but... Oh, okay, it's it's in, it's building right now. So White Rod built, uh, throwing even more Dark Templar into the mix. And interesting to see them used defensively. And it's going to be the DT drop. So that could be fun. White Raw will most likely drop somewhere around here and then send maybe like one here, one here, one here, and one there, I guess. Just try to split them up as much as possible so that way MKP has to burn so very many scans to deal with it. And MKP only has one scan available right now. This orbital is quite a ways off from getting another scan. But that said, MKP is moving up the middle with a pretty significant force and White Raw just doesn't have an army. He does have two sentries out, so he'll be able to force field. And yep, we've got DTs going into the main. He's going to start to work on those reactors. Very nice decision, dropping another one down here. But there is a missile turret to see that one, so that one doesn't accomplish anything at all. 
And I feel this could be curtains for White Raw here because that's a big army and White Raw has absolutely nothing to deal with it. He does slow down some force fields, so it'll slow MKP a little bit, but he might just pick up and then drop everything on the other side. And yeah, just waiting for those force fields to expire. He's going to push on forward and kill absolutely everything. And I think this is curtains for White Raw. He has no ability to deal with this. He doesn't have an army anymore. All of his probes are getting picked off. Let's take a look at the workers killed. 42 probes killed by White Raw. What? That's really high. Well, MKP is catching on up. When did he kill that many SCVs? I can't figure out when Right Raw killed that many of MKP's SCVs. Well, anyways, Right Raw with the uh, good game, well played. And okay, so it looks like this was an IPL game. So thank you to them for providing this game to the community on them or replay websites. And yeah, so I'm not sure someone's still in the game. That's kind of hilarious. Mars TV has left the game. I don't know who Mars TV is, but casting games, that's kind of awesome. Okay, so there was still an IPL observer left in the game. So yeah, White Raw just trying that Dark Templar switch. You can see the fragments of the Dark Shrine right there. And uh, dealing some damage with it, but really not very much. And MKB did the smart thing. He didn't sit back at home and worry about Dark Templar. He just went and killed White Raw, because White Raw had no army left with which to fight. So thank you guys for watching my game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Leave feedback in the comments below. I love casting and I really want to improve my casting style and get as good as I possibly can. And uh, I'm going to go and see if I can get into the Diablo servers now. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.